is a pimp that arranges clients for prostitutes. Yes, we can't judge a book by its cover. And just by this choice yeah, of career alone, the series even shows us direct proof mm -hmm. of her being borderline sociopathic. It, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here to talk about top 5 anti-hero characters in K-drama. This channel is B Bali, se, B Bali drama. B Bali? B Bali, I don't know if I can say it. So, this guy is my subscriber. Ne tha, ye karo. Top 5 anti-hero characters. I think it's interesting. Lagti hai, आ पहले वॉच में जो होता था तो अभी भी है अभी नहीं मैं देखता है बट पहले मुझे बहुत शौक था ऐसी टॉप 10 मतलब देखने तो आप ऐसी चीजें और सीएस करना मुझे काफी पसंद है सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स शॉट द वीडियो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट के ड्रामा प्रोटैगोनिस्ट अच्छा अ हीरोइक फिगर इमीडिएटली कम्स टू माइंड समवन ऑफ प्योर गुडनेस राइचियसनेस डिटरमिन टू फाइट ऑफ द बैड एंड अपोज सोशल इनजस्टिस and yet, this conventional hero is slowly falling out of style, making way for anti-heroes, or leading characters that are less heroic, more flawed, and even cruel if prompted. With this in mind, mm -hmm. here are five K-drama protagonists that are prime examples of this very trope. Yes, mm -hmm. Kira villain hi tha, Malbad mein villain ban gaya tha. Ya L villain, mala usme to kuch main Death Note ki baat kar raha. To mujhe don ne bade pasand hai, chahe koi marji villain ho. <laughs> तो जैसे कि थैनस को काफी चाहा जाता है और कौन चीजें हैं और कौन सी चीजें हैं मतलब और भी काफी विलेंस हैं जिसको काफी मतलब उसकी है मार्केट में डिमांड <laughs> मतलब समझ रहे हो तो देखते हैं क्या बोल रहे Number one, Vincenzo Cassano. Uh -huh. Vincenzo. Yeah, if so. you are in dire need of laughter in this gloomy, gloomy time, then consider checking out Vincenzo, a dark comedy gem rarely spotted on Korean TV. Yeah, Opening the series is the cheeky Song Joong Ki, in the form of male lead Vincenzo, who is depicted as ruthless, cruel, and unafraid to get blood on his hands. Yeah. He is a constant glare for the Italian mafia. Yeah. <laughs> Not exactly the staple of kindness. Initially, Vincenzo is seen as a man enjoying a wealthy life full of distrust, setting out for a purpose that benefits only himself, and so dangerous that people shiver upon hearing his name. Uh -huh. However, as the series progresses, he is pulled away from the prestige and status that comes with his mafia title. Rather, he is positioned within a more ordinary setting, fooled and struggling in an ordinary way making him more human, more relatable, and overall more enjoyable to perceive. He gets to experience normal relationships, and even obtain a gang of support in the form of the Gumga Plaza family. He fell in love and is loved in return, making him a redeemable figure, switching sides to the fight for goodness. And yet, what makes Vincenzo an anti-hero to the end is prevalent cruelty. Vincenzo doesn't hesitate to call himself a villain, and truthfully, some good deeds cannot erase all the blood on his hands. The final episode got Vincenzo showing his edges, as he admitted that lawful means are not enough to punish evil. So while the cruel methods of the series finale come off as too gruesome to viewers, it stays true to the deadly character of Vincenzo. Number 2. Ever a classic that leaves room for nostalgia, the 2014 K drama Healer still fits right in with the topic of today's video. The male protagonist this time. Healer to Hamari guys in his Mulla, Ononakati, check out Gunna. Oh, Ham, Ham, we have his sweet moments check out Gunna. So, we will see what we can do about it. Let's go. Isso Jungkook, also known by his alias Healer, and is brought to life by the handsome and charming Ji Changbook. And yet, right off the bat, it is shown that this character does not follow a traditional heroic mold. For someone called Healer, there sure is a lot of healing Jungkook strives to do, because he simply wants to whisk away to an isolated island and be completely free of burdens. In addition, Jungkook is portrayed as a recluse and pervert, isolating himself in an abandoned building and saying vulgar and improper words to a female character in the video game he's playing. Um, the maze-like camera work at the beginning has made one uh, thing clear. So jung Hoo is a selfish and materialistic antisocial that couldn't care less about the rest of the world. 
And yet, throughout the series, our hero, or anti-hero, starts to see his world shift upside down. He is given a mission to protect the female lead Yongshin, believed to be the missing survivor of an incident years ago. And this time, it's her that heals his heart. Gone was the cold mass and the uncaring nature. And Junghu's walls start to collapse in front of Yongshin's sincerity. But don't get us wrong. While the man has gone through a major transformation and become someone righteous, much kinder, and more loving, he has still got dirt on his hands. Intentional or not. Number 3. Zhou Yiso, Itaewon Class Let's take a breath of fresh air, shall we? Because anti-heroes aren't limited to men that kill and fight, but can also include cunning women. Or, in this case, the anti-heroine of Itaewon Class. Causing quite the hype upon its release, Itaewon Class introduces Pak So Joon as the ambitious ex-convict Pak Se Roy, who sets out to avenge his father and make a name for himself in the world of bar slash restaurant. But today's spotlight is actually on the female lead always by his side, the unempathetic, confident, and multi-talented Jo Yiso. As a social media celebrity, Yiso has always been full of charms. She knows what people need, what buttons to click, and can use what she has learned to her advantage. And yet, despite all her connections and extrovertism, Yiso is unapologetic to an extreme. And the series even shows us directly <laughs> <of> her... <laughs> And yet, despite all her connections and extrovertism, Yiso is unapologetic to an extreme. And the series even shows us direct proof of her being borderline sociopathic. This is Buttons to click, and can use what she has learned to her advantage. Sorry, man. And yet, yeah, despite all her hai. connections and extrovertism, Yiso is unapologetic to an extreme. And the series yeah. even shows us direct proof of her being <laughs> borderline sociopathic. To her, no human connection is worth it. Her friends and family don't matter. And oh, it is her wish that matters above all. Regardless, the dignity or face. But Yiso, like others on the list, was also set out to redeem herself. When the male lead called out her behavior, she learned to change. And despite not being completely sincere initially, she still ended up caring. While Yiso remains a selfish character to the very end, it is this trait that retains her originality, making her a perfect contradiction with the straight laced male lead. Speaking of Itaewon class, do you remember Yiso's ex-best friend that defected to the bad side for some good episodes? Oh, He's the next on our list. Le. Number oh, 4. Oh Jisoo. Extracurricular. Now, as a Netflix original series, Extracurricular was set out to make its lead much darker than what you'd expect of a Korean drama. The drama starts off with Kim dong or here, Oh Jisoo, a model student with stellar grades and a seemingly spotless lifestyle. His sole purpose is to earn money. Which, considering that he's poor, abandoned, and forced to provide for a gambling dad, can totally be understood. But contrary to all the careers that we have seen poor protagonists doing, Oh Jisoo is neither a waiter nor tutor. He runs an entire shady business line, acting as a pimp that arranges clients for prostitutes. Yes, we can't judge a book by its cover, and just by this choice of career alone, yeah, it's obvious yeah. that Jisoo is no good man. Yeah, His actions money. lead to awry and bloody consequences, and um. the law has to be involved. Even till the end, his fate is left unclear, because Jisoo just disappeared, leaving behind hurt people and a bloody trail. Still, Jisoo is no villain. He's a lead wronged by poor conditions, and still tries to salvage his humanity. He doesn't force his services on people, only involving those that are willing to try. This message is made clear at the end of every episode, when a card pops up, encouraging people like Jisoo to reach out. Jisoo is also a victim, or an anti-hero with all his deeds. So this is a teaching drama, basically. Number 5. Jung Shi-hyun, Cruel City. Most difficult protagonist in the list, Jung Shi-hyun from Cruel City is first introduced as a drug courier, going against the police force led by the other male lead, But in games, I pimp a lot of pimps. I don't know why I remember the word pimps. I remember his name. 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 Jazzy B, Jazzy B, Jazzy B, 
GCP on the track. ये था बंदा आप देख रहे हैं दिख रहे हैं चलो हाँ तो ये बंदा था GCP. At first sight, the story sounds like one clearly divided, where the bad is evil and violent, and the good side's only aim is to bring justice. However, hmm. as the plot unfolds, we get to see that reality may not always be what meets the eyes. Every character starts to crack, wavering on the fine line between good and bad. Chi Hyun was also revealed to be an undercover cop, making him more of a hero in the viewer's eye. However, despite his noble intention to infiltrate the ranks of his enemies, Chi Hyun was still human and just as flawed as humans are. He is no outsider to bloodshed and has killed, hurt, and harmed people. Ooh. The monster and the human inside him cannot cancel out each other, but rather coexist, creating a complex yet driven anti-hero that touched the heart of many audiences. And there you have it. But before you go, here are some honorable mentions that almost make the list. Dr. Prisoner, Na EJ, The Last Empress, Lee Hyuk, A Korean Odyssey, Son Ogong. Do you agree with our list? Did we miss out on any of your anti-heroes? Feel free to let us know in the comment section. And if you want more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe to Polydrama. We'll come back soon. See ya. Green for outro. Now, look, I think the first one that was made, the swag is different. I think that this will be something else. I mean, the swag is like the swag is behaving. It's not a good thing. So, it's a good thing that it's put it on the top. Then, the third one was the second one. The second one was the second one. The third one was the third 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 one. तो फर्स्ट वाल मैं फर्स्ट वाल डेफिनेटली एग्री कर सकता हूँ मुझे काफी अच्छा लगता है वो विलन में और तो मुझे कोई नहीं पता कौन विलन है बाकी मुझे इतना नहीं पता बट वो अगर विलन है तो मुझे काफी सीख लगा फर्स्ट वाला को सभी चीजें कह रहा हूँ मैं जैसे वो एक्ट करता है जैसे वो सारा कुछ वो बंदा भी परफेक्ट है ना मतलब जो एक्टर है उसका लगता भी हाँ ये माफिया है ये कुछ करेगा तो वैसा है सो so, आप बताना आपको बाकियों का पता था आपके नजरिए में कौन विलन है टॉप या आप किसी को नहीं पसंद करते बीच में या आप अपना और विलन जो इसमें नहीं थे वो बता देना तो सो थैंक यू गाइस फॉर वाचिंग प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब आई इन द नेक्स्ट वन गुड बाय